What's up guys, this is Gazelle Brown, and today I'm coming to you with a review of a number of um, of products. I'm probably going to have to break it up because for some reason my camera doesn't have enough storage, and so I have to um, go ahead and get some more um, storage um, for my, my camera. So anyways, um, today we're going to start off with um, eyelashes. They are excellent, guys. When I say um, the eyelashes are important for a makeup artist whether you're a makeup artist or just somebody that just likes to do your makeup luscious lashes are excellent by far they are 15 bucks i got them from amazon this is the packaging okay and they come with seven different eyelash uh seven different eyelash styles okay there's 70 of them in here and you get 10 pair in each uh in on each well Okay, so you got, this is 70 pair, guys. 70 pair for 15, 15 bucks. A little over 15 bucks. You can't beat that. And if you can, you're crazy. Okay, the second thing that I'm going to do, review, is um, a Whisper of Guilt. And it is an extra diminishing uh, uh, bronzer. And it is very, it is, it's, it's, they don't sell it anymore. I actually had to pay a serious amount of money to get it um, from someone who collects makeup in Taiwan. I was not able to find it anywhere. So if you find it and you're able to find it, please um, send me a message or let me know, you know, where you can find it at. But it's a serious, it's like the holy grail of uh, makeup artistry when you're using it don't have to use that much of it it's very it's like a 24 karat gold um you can use it pretty much on any any uh, skin tone i don't know if you can see it that good but it is it's very very pretty very pretty um like i said serious amount of money i it's 29 bucks it was 29 dollars when it was out but i had to pay for it in a kit came with a holiday it was a mac holiday kit I paid a little over $200 for that eyeshadow and lipstick, so you know how bad I wanted it, okay? Um, so that is the extra diminishing um, uh, holy grail of makeup artistry, and it is called Whisper of Guilt by MAC. Um, the next thing I'm going to uh, show you is, I can come out of here, it's Beauty. And this came in the same uh, holiday kit. It's called Beauty. It's very pretty. But what I like to do is I like to add tint to it because it's it's a lighter color. You know, it's a lighter color. And for my skin tone, um, I like to maybe add like a purple um, iridescent kind of color to bring tint to my lips so I don't look like I'm getting ready to, you know, go six feet under. Um, the tint that I use is by BH Cosmetics. Little up. BH Cosmetics, which is one of my buys, and I've had this for a while. I'm a BH Cosmetics junkie. Um, it's it's called Galaxy Chick, and as you can see, the packaging is very pretty. Um, it's a nice thin lip gloss. The tubing is very sturdy, and it's uh, kind of like a purplish pink with a shimmer of uh, purple and pink together and maybe like some sparkles in there. Um, so that's a good buy and I use that with beauty. And this is what I have on today. So it's not too much, you know, it's just, I didn't want to do too much with the pink eye, but you know, I did want to, you know, because I have the spark, I don't know if you can see it, but um, I wanted to do something different. Anyways, RCMA, it is, it is a excellent contour and highlighter. What I like is that it comes with the two contouring colors and then it goes down to the three highlighting colors. And like I said, a little goes a long way with this also. Um, it's by Camera Ready. It's a company called Camera Ready. I'm going to leave all the information down below, but um, the company is called Camera Ready and they sell nothing but makeup artistry, uh, makeup products for makeup artistry. Anywhere from photography to uh, theatrical makeup, they sell that. You get they, you name it, they got it. Um, another one of my good buys was uh, the Sigma. Uh, I got a little highlighter on there, but the Sig Sigma P84. It's a contouring highlighting brush, and a lot of people use it for um, uh, uh, concealer. 
you can apply your concealer with it. What I do is I kind of use the um I I use a, a a skinny brush for my uh highlight or for my contour and then I buff it out with this because it's it's an angle brush. So if you can see this is the P84 brush and it is it is a good buy. It um I think it cost me 28 bucks on eBay. And so, you know, so it's a good buy. Um, you can't beat that. No, I'm sorry, not eBay, uh, Amazon. Um, another one of my buys was the Highlighting uh, Sigma Brush. And this is a tapered highlighter. And it is a F35, which is, an, which is the number of it. And this is a highlighting brush. This is used, you know, you can... You can actually dip it in Whisper of Guilt after you do your contour and, you know, add your highlighter, highlighting, then go over it again with the Whisper of Guilt because it gives you a nice soft finish. So this is a good brush. It's soft to the touch. Um, it's a, actually like more like a dome brush. It's a good buy. And I think I paid, uh, let's see, I think I paid $43 for it. 